Welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Well, to be honest, it's my first Minecraft video, and I'm going to explain the basics of five plugins that I recommend you having in a Minecraft server. So here we go. The first one is World Edit. So to begin with, with World Edit, we need to do forward slash forward slash and then type wand. You get given a wooden axe because that's the default setting and all you have to do is left click and then right click another position so hit that right, I uh, selected a rectangle here then expand your rectangle how many high, so I'm going to expand it 4 up and then forward slash forward slash walls and I'm going to use logs so it will create this for you 4 high, 1, 2, 3, 4 all the way around into the area you have selected. To undo this, you just do the same, but undo, and then also redo. So at the moment, I'm going to undo it. I'm going to show you one quick other thing you can use on here, and that is a pyramid. So to create a pyramid, you, all you have to do is, oops, as you can see pyramid and then what type of block and then how big you want it so let's make one for example pyramid the block we're going to use sand stone and we're going to have it five wide I'm being put inside it so I'm just going to fly out the top but there you go there's your type of pyramid quick and easy world edit and the link will be in the description so you go and click on that if you want to download it so then moving on Let's have a look what the next one is. Right then, uh, next one is World Guard. Oh, before I'm going to do it, it's night time, so I'm going to change it to day, so time set day. Right then, World Guard. I can't really explain a lot of things on World Guard on here because you have to edit it in the config file and you can change it so you can stop fire spread, you can stop people from killing each other, you can do all sorts of things to protect your world. But I can show you a few little things within this plugin. For example, if you have a compass, um, no one is actually online at the moment, but if I type in locate and then the name, so that someone, this is someone who's playing on my server at the moment, and then I click that, it would locate and this red dot will show you where that person is. So that's one thing. You can also do God and God, uh, sorry, I'm God. See? Uh, another one is heal, so you can heal people. Then just hit write the name, so the legend didn't heal again. And it would heal him. Or just heal yourself. You can do slay, so you can slay other people. So if you type in slay, then the name, it will slay him. You can do stack. So if I, I'll show you this one. So if I got some sandstone and then I've got some more sandstone here I can write in stack and it will stack all the items as you can see it stacked my wooden axes and my sandstone all together so that's quite a useful um, command another one is stop fire so if a fire spread is going on you can type stop fire and then you can type the um, yeah so now it's stopped the fire spread in this world that's only a few of them uh, there are probably more and as I said you have to change them in the config file so yeah oh also with the world edit one I think this is for the world edit one if you get the compass you, and you left click it wherever you're facing the cross you teleport there so over there, back over here, and if you right click, you'll go through something. So I'm, I'm here. If I right click it, I'll go straight through it. Also, like my house here, I can go in the house by right clicking out the house. That's quite a cool thing, I think. So then, moving on quickly, the next one is Warps plugin. That will also be all these link. Uh, oh, sorry, all these plugins will be in the description below, so you can download them as links. 
But for this one, at the moment you can put set warp. So yeah, if I go over here into this little island, at top of this tree, for example. So and I click set warp, and then a name for it tree. It creates a warp to this area, and the name called tree. So if I walk, sorry, fly, not walk, fly over here. Then I type in warp and the name of it, tree. It will warp you to that warp place. This is extremely helpful for a lot of getting back to places if they're a long distance away. So I'll give you another example. So I'm just going to create a warp here. So another example, set warp, and we're going to call this tutorial. To so example number one I can I have set one in my world called warp spawn and this will take you back to the spawn area on your server next one let's move on so warp and what was it called tutorial and you'll warp back so that's quite an easy one easy command really simple and really helps you a lot Moving on, next one. Essentials plugin. Essentials plugin is a massive yes, yes, yes. Download it. Really good. Has so much use in it. However, it's got a lot of things you can do, meaning a lot of information. So I'm just going to go through the basics, and for essentials, you can create signs. So we have this shop here, and you get a sign and you want to set, uh, buy something so we put buy in with the uh, brackets both ends then you put how much of the item you want the people to buy so 10 of the items so example grass and we, if you click the sign you get 10 grass what you're going to sell so I'm going to sell grass and then how much for so uh, let's do it for example 15 pounds and it creates a sign for 15 pound, uh, dollars because I haven't changed my config file for f pounds yet uh, then you can also create a sell sign so you do the same sell how much want to sell so 10 grass and then how much price wise I'm going to set it for 10 dollars Oops, I put a dot in the end, sorry. My fault. Sell 10 grass for $10. There you go. To use this, you, all you have to do is right click the sign. So, pretend I'm a person on your server. I walk in and I want to buy 10 grass for $15. You right click it, and there you go, 10 grass. And it says $15 has been taken from your account. So, you want to sell 10 grass for $10. Then right click this one. It takes it and put ten dollars in your bank account. Uh, to use this and to have the uh, dollars and money, you will need iEconomy, iEconomy, and Vault. This will help create a money system in your Minecraft server. The links will also be in the description. All right then. So moving on. is the, oh the economy plugin <laughs> as I've just told you it creates money so if we type in money you can see I've got 157 pounds and if I type money top you can see the people who are playing so the wealthiest at the moment is creeper AJ19 with 439 pounds and actually the wealthiest person was the legend in hell however I accidentally deleted his account so I'll be giving it back to him in a sec after this video, uh, if we type in money help, yeah, this will give you all the commands for your money. So you can put money and you can pay people, you can create an account. So that's what I'll be doing for the legend and how because I accidentally deleted it. You can give money, you can take money if they're not if they uh, owe you it or owe someone else it, and you can empty all the database. This is a very good money if you have um, signs enabled. Oh yes, sorry.
back to the essentials to be able to use the signs you need to go into the config file and enable the signs uh, enable the signs yeah and once you've done that then you can do this so if it's not working you have to enable the signs in the config file leave a comment below if you need help with that and I'll get back to you so yeah that's all the plugins at the moment thank you for watching if you need me to go into detail for any of these plugins even more please leave a comment as well below and please subscribe thank you for watching goodbye